Hey, it's Connie McNamara with the McNamara Group at Keller Williams Realty. And today I'm discussing how to present the very best offer when competing in a multiple offer situation. In today's current real estate market, the inventory of houses is very low, yet there's still plenty of buyers out searching to purchase a home, so this often results in multiple offers on a single property. First of all, you want to make sure you talk with a good mortgage lender and get a pre-qualification or a pre-approval letter to submit with your offer. If you're a cash buyer, you still want to have some sort of bank letter or proof of funds available as well. The seller is going to want to see right away that you are indeed a qualified buyer. Second of all, of course, price is one of the biggest parts of your offer. Make sure that you have a good agent looking at the comparable sales and that you're presenting a fair offer, but also not overpaying. However, if there are multiple offers, there is a good chance that you may need to offer full price or even over asking price. Also in regard to price, you may even consider adding a clause to your offer that offers an additional amount of money above the highest bidder up to a maximum amount that you feel comfortable with, of course. You also want to be sure that you or your agent gathers as much information as possible regarding the seller, their motivation, their time frame, why they're selling, and of course, how many offers have been received or are anticipated. Some additional aspects of your offer that you might consider are closing date and occupancy date. If you know that the seller prefers to close in a certain time frame, if you can at all meet that time frame, that will be attractive to that seller. Also, occupancy date. You might even consider giving the seller 24 hours or so after closing to vacate the property. You want to try to keep your offer as clean and simple as possible. But the three main contingencies that are in most offers are first your inspection contingency, second your appraisal, and then third your final loan approval if you're getting a mortgage of course. Try to keep it to those three contingencies. Anything else might make your offer less attractive to that seller. If you would like to have a home warranty on the home that you're purchasing, you could even consider purchasing that yourself at closing as opposed to asking the seller to do so. As buyer's agents, we always want the very best deal for you, of course, but the very best deal for you may be the most competitive offer to help you get your dream home. Another thing you might want to consider is writing a letter to the seller. You can play on their emotions by telling them how much you love the home and why and how bad you and your family want it. You might even consider including some photos and if you have pets, include them in the picture as well. Thanks for watching. Again, this is Connie McNamara with the McNamara Group at Keller Williams Realty. And if you have any questions about presenting your very best offer or real estate in general, please reach out. We'll be glad to help. Thank you and have a great day.